my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jessie. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's video is a grocery haul. Um, I went to Walmart in Woodman's and I got a bunch of new and exciting things. I cannot wait to share with you guys. So let's get into the haul. Right, here is the Woodman's haul. So we grabbed the Jamestown brand. Um, seasoned bacon ends in pieces. If you've been here a while, you know that I love to grab the one from Walmart. Uh, this uh, Woodman's one was actually cheaper than the one I get at Walmart. This was only $5 and some change. The one at Walmart is like $8 and some change. So I grabbed, went ahead and grabbed that. It's a three pound package. So for $5 and change for three pounds of bacon, and it, especially in today's society, is amazing. Um, what we do is we just pack, uh, package it in the little packages and then put it in the freezer. And then you just have to pull out like a little baggie of bacon and there you go. Um, we grabbed the filet sockeye salmon. Um, and then we also grabbed the filets of Alaska cod. These are going to be like a lunch for Jeffrey and I. Jeffrey is starting to do like a weight loss journey. Um, and I have been on one on and off for a few years. And I'm back on the train. Whoop, whoop. But don't you worry. There still be delicious, amazing meals. We are just counting our calories and making delicious meals fit into them. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going to be doing this for lunch. Jeffrey might, uh, I know he grabbed a few other things, which I'll show you for his lunches. Anyways, uh, grab that. And then these are two fifty for a steak. We grabbed them last haul and it was so good. The applewood smoked bacon wrap filet of beef, super delicious, $2 and 50 cents. Again, in today's society, a steak that is expensive. That would be like $8 at Walmart or anywhere else. And then I grabbed the Crystal Farms Provolone Cheese recipe. I'm using this in this week. Uh, I don't remember which one it is at this exact moment, but uh, it's going to be delicious. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on that great content. Like I said, Jeffrey is going to um, start being a little more mindful about, like, you know, what he's eating portion-wise. Um, he grabbed some yogurts for, like, I think snacks or breakfast for him. So he grabbed the Prairie Farms Strawberry Banana Raspberry Strawberry Cheesecake um black cherry and blackberry i also wanted to mention he is going to be making a channel for his weight loss um journey so when he starts his channel i will mention it on my thing and please go show him some love go subscribe to his channel um give him some support um he really needs it and wants it so anyways long rant about that um and then i got, then I got beligioso's uh american grana extra age parmesan cheese shredded a recipe that i need that for this week i saw this on instagram i don't know if you like cottage cheese but if you do does that not sound amazing mixed in cottage cheese garlic parmesan flavored heck to the yeah i mean garlic and parm those are two of my favorite things and in cottage cheese it's only 120 calories for half cup that's not bad that's the average. Um, and then got some Lunchables. Of course, my kids Lunchables every time we go to the store. Um, it's just a nice little treat for them. Rowan always chips and cheese. And then the boys, the uh, pizza with pepperoni ones. I grabbed the Char uh, gluten-free puff pastry dough. I am going to be making dishes for uh, Thanksgiving morning for breakfast. And so I need to grab some of this so I can make them. I did make them once and they were delicious. But I didn't post on my channel because they didn't turn out the way exactly I wanted them to. But now I know all the things that I need to do different. And so I will hopefully have a video about that when I make them on Thanksgiving. I had seen somebody eat these. And I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Yasso sea salted caramel chocolate crunch dipped Greek yogurt bars. I used to love these all the time when I um, originally started losing weight. Um, and I haven't had them in a really long time, but they're so good. And they're gluten-free, even though they got crunched, that is what's in it. So we got that. And then, uh, of course the kids, their mozzarella cheese stuff sticks, uh, run in and run. Absolutely love those gluten-free mac and cheese for mommy because, uh, the stuffer's mac and cheese is amazing and it makes a great side dish. If we're doing like steak or something and I don't feel like making like uh, box mac and cheese, I just have to pop that in the microwave. Jeffrey grabbed this. It's a new, these are sheet pan meals. This is ch uh, chicken with garlic, parmesan, and potatoes. This is, uh, did not contain any gluten. So uh, I could even eat this with him, uh, but he's going to have that for like a lunch. And then he grabbed this one. It's another sheet pan meal. This one is Italian sausage with peppers. And that one... That's what's in that guy. But yeah, it sounds delicious. He's going to enjoy those for lunches. And then we grab these for Sunday morning for the kids. Mini Cine Sticks. They'll love those. 
Uh, I had just recently, uh, a few weeks back, Ed showed on my What's for Dinner a cheesy pizza tortellini casserole. I'm going to be making that again, and I'm going to be filming it for you guys. So that'll be in a What's for Dinner coming up very soon. Um, and then I have another tortellini casserole recipe that I'm going to be making. You're also not going to want to sell on that one. That's going to be so delicious. So I needed, um, cause you need, uh, two tortellini for each. So grabbed four and then I grabbed the buttermilk red skins mashed potatoes from Bob Evans. Um, I'm going to be making chicken parm this weekend and I wanted to do mashed potatoes as a side instead of, uh, pasta. And then Hagen dazs white chocolate raspberry truffle ice cream not the healthiest but delicious and no gluten so i can't go wrong there right uh, i'm gonna give that a try the thing with that is like i don't have issues with i'll just take like a few bites out of it and then put it back in the freezer does anybody else do that or is it just me i love eating out of the container like that and then mac and cheese cups sometimes though i will measure it out if i'm counting my calories which i am so i probably won't eat it out of the container anyways and then i got mac and cheese cups for rowan these stofers these will be nice because Rowan. i don't know he's saying he hates mac and cheese now kids you know i don't know <laughs> and then two of the cantadina pizza sauces these if you can find them it's hard finding these so i want to grab two because my kids absolutely love this pizza sauce I have uh, two recipes that need uh, Italian dressing this week, and one of them is the Olive Garden um, crock pot Italian chicken thing. I haven't done that. I know it was really big there for a while for everybody, and I never did it, um, but I want to give it a try. And I have another recipe that I need it for, so I went ahead and grabbed a bottle of that. Two bags of pepperonis, because we go through those like crazy around here. Uh, and I am making two ingredient dough pizza, which is like uh, flour and um, Greek yogurt this week. So I'm going to need some pepperonis for that. These were two for $4. Um, the Christmas tree cakes. Uh, so I went ahead and grab the chocolate one and the white ones. I like to throw those in Ruxley's lunchbox. And the other two, like them, like for a snack if they're being good, you know. And then I grabbed some panko breadcrumbs. These are original breadcrumbs um, for Full Circle Market. Gluten-free. I'm going to be doing the Longhorns Parmesan chicken or something like that. And you need breadcrumbs. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed those. And then Duke's a mail that is light. Jeff is going to try this and see if he likes it. Um, he loves Duke's mail. And he's not as big of a fan of my light mail. But I'm hoping this is more like Duke's than light mail. I don't know. He'll give it a go. See what he thinks. And then um, we grabbed some of these for treats for the kids. Ruxley's been wanting Twix. So I went ahead and grabbed him a Twix Santa. But then Rennie saw the sugar cookie Hershey's. And then so we grabbed one for him and one for Rowan. This is going to be a taste test video. Uh, this is the pumpkin spice salted nut roll, and then we grab the apple pie salted nut roll. Uh, my mom, fun fact, when she was pregnant with me, absolutely loved salted nut rolls, and I have a weird love for them. Just like she used to, um, when she was pregnant with me, there's a story I'll have to tell sometime about the apple pies from McDonald's. Um, my dad, <laughs> it's a funny story about him and when she was pregnant with me. I'll tell you guys sometime. Um... But yeah, I went ahead and grabbed these. We're going to do a taste test video on those. And then they have these jelly beans, jelly belly holiday flavored, her holiday favorites jelly beans. There's candy cane, hot cocoa, eggnog, pumpkin pie. I can't remember. There we go. Pumpkin pie, eggnog, cranberry sauce, hot chocolate, and candy cane. That'll be a taste test video. And then, of course, we found the gingerbread snapped Mountain Dew. Whoop, whoop. We're going to give that a go as a taste test video. See what we think. Uh, I'm pretty curious to see if that'll taste like gingerbread. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Uh, we shall see. Um, I have for the pizza tortellini casserole, the cheesy one, you need eight ounces of Velveeta cheese. So I just went ahead and grabbed a block of that. Uh, I had just done a recipe where I used diced tomatoes. So I needed to grab some more from my cupboard. So I grabbed the... Hunt's Fire Roasted Diced Garlic Tomatoes. Two cans of that. Um, oh my gosh. So I had bought this last week and I absolutely loved it. The Alfresco Uncured Chicken Bacon. It's 60% less fat than pork bacon. That's what that looks like on the back. This gluten-free. And uh, it is, like, you know, turkey bacon does not taste like uh, bacon. It tastes like ham in my opinion. This Jeffrey thinks tastes like chicken skin. I think it tastes kind of like bacon, but I can see why it says chicken skin. It's delicious, and I don't mind it. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed two boxes of that for me for the week. 
And the kids, I grabbed the fully cooked Oscar Mayer bacon. Rowan's been on this kick where she wants uh, bacon, pickle, and mayo sandwiches. So, yeah, she'll probably have some of that for her lunch. And then we saw these cute little advent calendars. They were $1.69 a piece. Um, and, oh, my, just look at how cute that is. The little red truck and all the, you know, the snowman and the reindeer, the cardinal, all the cool Christmas stuff. Santa and elf. And then this one, what's on this guy? Santa and a bunch of teddy bears and a fox and mouse. So cute. And then the last one is just a snowman. How cute are those? So just nice little thing. We did buy them a book advent calendar. It was a Disney um, book one. It comes with 24 books. Uh, if you've never seen those ones, Nickelodeon has one too. It's 24 books and it's usually like $24, $25. So it's like a dollar a book if you, in essence of, you know, what the, it would cost. Um, so I don't think that's bad. A dollar a book. So it's like 24, 25 bucks, something like that. And you have, um, you know, a book a day for them to open on, you know, every day till Christmas, 24 bucks. Pretty cool. And then I grabbed some spoons. Uh, Ruxley has them putting up in the cupboard so that I want to put in his lunchbox so, you know, he needs some spoons for that. Or if he wanted to take something else that he needs a spoon for. And then uh, some slider quart storage container. And then uh, I needed some shampoo. We're getting low. The Dove, it says new, but it's been out forever. Derma Care Scalp Coconut and Hydration Anti-Danger Shampoo. I have really, really bad scalp, guys. And this is amazing. I don't have any issues with my scalp. I used to have to use medicated shampoo. I have not had to use it in a very long time using this shampoo. I've tried all sorts of dandruff shampoos. None of them work. This one does. Um, so if you've never tried it before, give it a try. Maybe it'll help you. Uh, I have some dry shampoo that I have in the bathroom, but I don't like the smell of it at all. And this is the same smell as my shampoo. How cool is that? So uh, this will be fantastic because um, I need to stop washing my hair every day. Uh, I do because uh, I have oily hair and too I work out a lot but like on the days I'm not working out I just go ahead and put that in my hair you know um then we grabbed the Mr. Clean Gain scent uh we use this for like when we mop our floors and stuff um this is actually a huge huge uh deal because Walmart doesn't carry this big of a container of our softener soap and this was not badly priced. It's 210 loads. So this is going to last me forever with just one container. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I grabbed some Monster because, you know, I'm a mom. I need energy. I, you know, struggle <laughs> between work and everything I have going on. Sometimes I need a caffeine boost. Sun-kissed orange for the kids. And then, of course, Coca-Cola for mom. I have one of these a day. Um, I am where I'm kind of watching what I'm eating again and, uh, I'm counting my calories. I probably, what I'll do is if I'm drinking a Coke, I won't drink one of those. I'll probably, you know, space them out or whatever. Um, and then this guy got bent. Jeffrey dropped a bag while he's carrying in the groceries. This is the winter edition pomegranate flavor from Red Bull. So delicious. I really enjoyed that one. Anyways, this is the Woodman's haul. There will be a Walmart haul and I will show you that. Here is the stuff that we got from Walmart. One thing that is not going to be shown is I did get a container of Tidy Cat Litter for Bob. It's already downstairs. Um, first thing is we got this little tennis ball thrower thingy for Riley. We are deciding to keep him. We are going to work through his issues. Uh, we did grab, hold on one second. I did grab this, this veterinary formula hotspot and itch relief Medicaid spray for his paws. And we've been putting it on there. We've gotten this from Walmart uh, the other day. Um, and we've been putting it on his paws. And we have seen a really like huge um, improvement on him from licking his paws. And they're looking great. So if you have that issue, maybe check that out. Um, but like I said, we're going to be working through his issues. Um, and, uh, you know, he's our family. We love him and we're trying to do everything that we can. A lot of people said he's probably bored, which it's a lot of it's just separation anxiety because he only tears up stuff when we're gone. Um, but you know, he has a backyard that he runs in all the time and all that. I know people said to do walks. Um, like I said, walks aren't really an option for us because he has such bad anxiety on the walk. He whines, he wants to come home. He doesn't want to be out walking and if he sees people he's super protective of me so then he starts lunging and barking and trying to attack them so it's just not a good situation so he gets a lot of exercise in the backyard 
Um, and we do a lot of this stuff. I also looked up, um, like, we're going to get him some, like, toy puzzle situations and all of that. And I found, like, this mat. Um, it's, like, called a snuffle mat or something like that. And it's got these things and you hide treats in it and then they sniff it out. I don't know. We're going to try a bunch of stuff, see what we can do. Like I said, he's family. We love him. We don't want to get rid of him. Um, so we're trying. Um, anyways, long story on that. <laughs> We have two 18 count of eggs. Um, Jeffrey's gonna, I'm gonna be making him free breakfast bowls. So it's gonna be hash rounds and eggs and sausage. So I need a I needed a container of eggs for that. And then I've been eating like two eggs every day. So I need eggs for myself and the kids have been wanting eggs, tons of eggs. So grab a ton of eggs. <laughs> and then we got some honey wheat bread for Jeffrey. He's gonna make some sandwiches. And then Ruxley, I don't know. He's been wanting his sandwiches on hot dog buns. Kids are weird, whatever. He eats it. That's all that matters, right? Um, grab the kids some triple chocolate muffins for a sweet treat breakfast for tomorrow because uh, my back's kind of bothering me. And so I just want something quick and easy. I can just feed them this. Yes, not the healthiest. My kids are super picky. And you know what? All things good in moderation. Look at that. There's fruit too in my household, not just junk food. Um, bananas. The Roan was asking for banana and we were out. So I grabbed some of that. Um, I grabbed some apples. Uh, I bought all the stuff to make Snicker apple salad, and then I forgot to buy the Snickers for the snip Snicker apple salad. <laughs> Try saying that like 20 times fast. Not very, it doesn't work very well. Um, but you need uh, four green apples, and then I grabbed a few others uh, for the kids to eat for snacks. I uh, grabbed some chicken breast. Uh, I'm going to be doing that Olive Garden crock pot chicken, and then I have another chicken recipe, that Longhorn Steakhouse Parmesan chicken thing, crusted chicken. So I needed chicken for that. So I just grabbed a container of that. Ten ninety. Oh, it's a little high, but not too bad. I did grab Snickers, but it is not for my salad. But I did grab. I finally have the Snickers cinnamon bun one. Oh my! And it's gluten free, so I can try it. I'm so excited. That's what that has in there. We're gonna do a taste test video on that. So stay tuned for that. Um, this is for the Snicker apple salad. Jeffrey said he's going to pick me up some Snickers, um, for that tomorrow. So I will be able to make that this weekend. I will probably make a video on that and post that, uh, maybe on Monday. I don't know. We shall see. Um, we needed onions. So I grabbed four of those gluten-free Oreos because I just used a bunch of Oreos. And Country Living Murray had made this, um, German chocolate pie. Oh, it looked so good. And we made it and it was phenomenal beyond anything I could have thought it was probably the best cream pie I have ever tasted slash made I will be making it again soon but I also like to snack on Oreos so I went ahead and grabbed some gluten-free ones uh, my kids love Duke sticks but Walmart had none the only ones I had was spicy which Ronnie would like but Rux is not huge on spice so we just went ahead and grabbed them some beef jerky for them to snack on uh cream cheese we go through lots and lots of cream cheese um I, who doesn't like cream cheese you know so I grabbed the one third less fat cream cheese. We grabbed four of those. This is the hash browns for the breakfast bowls. I'm going to make Jeffrey the hash brown uh, southern style O'Brien's with onions and peppers. He got some turkey breast for sandwiches uh, to go with his like mayo and bread that he got. And then I grabbed some strawberry yogurt for the kids. <clears throat> and then some Flintstone gummies sours because they will not eat the regular um, like powdery ones, they'll actually gag and almost puke. So we had to switch to these. Uh, we got some parsley flakes. We need more sponges, so we grab the heavy duty scrub ones. Uh, my makeup brushes I have had for probably, I've had them since I was a teenager. A very, 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 very long time. And they're starting to just like come apart. This was like $6 and some change. I really didn't want to get it, but Jeffrey said, Jesse, you need it. So just go ahead and grab it. So I did. The Eco Tools. They're probably not the best brand. I don't know. It was just cheap and easy, so that's what I grabbed. 1% milk. Jeffrey got a whole container of these wild cherry waters. I don't know. There's a ton in there. I'm not going to count them. 12. 12. There's 12 in there of the wild cherry, cherry American waters. He got these instead of soda, so that's a good change, you know. Everyday strong paper towels and some ultra strong toilet paper. Uh, let me know in your stores. Have you seen people going crazy over toilet paper again? There was like literally no toilet paper. I wouldn't have grabbed any, but we only have seven rolls left. And good news, guys. Runny's officially potty trained. Dun, dun, dun. Congratulations, Runny. 
I don't have to buy pull-ups anymore. Even at night, he's been staying dry. How exciting. So proud of him. So we've been going through more toilet paper, especially because he's going through this thing where he thinks he needs to wipe himself after he goes pee, and he's a boy. I've been trying to explain to him, you don't have to wipe yourself, but he just doesn't get it. <laughs> anyway, so we've been going through a little more toilet paper than we normally do. Um, so, you know, I figured I would grab it just because with all of us, you know, in the kids potty trained, if we ran out of toilet paper, that would be a disaster. So, anyways, that is all right, the thank haul. you so much for coming along with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, it gave you some inspiration of something you want to look for next time you go store. Give this video a big thumbs up, press that like button, subscribe to my channel, and click that little notification bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.